years ago, instead of drawing names with our, us and our children for Christmas gifts, we decided that we would find a family that we could help with the money saved from gifts that we would have bought for each other. <clears throat> Excuse me, in doing so, our son in Smithfield knew a family that lived in the trailer court. They had three children and another baby on the way. They found out that their washer and dryer had quit, so they were washing their clothes in the bathtub, and they had a clothesline draped over the bathtub so the clothes could trip, drip dry into the bathtub. So we decided as a family that we would find them a washer and dryer and buy presents for the children for Christmas. So our daughter was talking to her neighbor about this and the neighbor's father-in-law owned a restaurant in the valley and he found out about it and was talking to their delivery man about what we were doing. In the meantime, we found out that their car had broke down and they had no transportation either to get to and from work. And so she was having to call her neighbors as well as my daughter-in-law to get to her doctor appointments. So the restaurant owner, owner was talking about it to the delivery guy that was bringing supplies to him. And the delivery guy said that he had a van and that he would be glad to sell the van to him for this family. And as the restaurant owner explained it, the delivery guy said that he decided he was not going to sell the van to him, that he had to give it to him. So, but it needed repairs and tires. So the restaurant owner took the van to a mechanic to get the mechanic work done on it, repairs and tune up and new tires. And the mechanic asked him why he was doing this and he told him so the mechanic refused to get money for the repairs. And the only thing he would charge for was the new tires. So the money saved by the restaurant owner, he decided that he should, their family decided that they would take the car in and have it registered in their name and in short for a month. So the acts of kindness just kept snowballing. Anytime anybody found out about it, they wanted to take part in it. So Christmas Eve came and the shopping was all done and the presents were wrapped and they put the presents in the van and drove it to the trailer park and pushed it up on the driveway and parked it and left it running. They'd also put a big bowl around the van as a present also and they left the Christmas music going and knocked on the door and then run across the street and hid behind the neighbor's garbage cans. So the lady come out and found the van running and saw the bow on it and opened the door and found the Christmas card with the explanation of what had been done and how it had snowballed and many people had offered a gift of kindness to uh, give them a Christmas. And she started sobbing and went in and got her children and come out and read them the letter. They were close enough that they could hear what was going on. Uh, and her children were so happy. She called her husband and told him about it and told him that she was going to leave everything exactly as it was until he got home from work. So we see that the scripture, thus the scripture that's out of small things, great things can come to pass. Uh, the joy and happiness that was experienced by those who received the gift 
was maybe comparable to the ones who did, did the giving. And I think this represents what the Savior does for us. He gives everything for us so that we could be happy and have joy and happiness. And we talk about the Savior suffering for our sins and sacrificing, but I also believe he did that. But I also believe that our joy and happiness from doing good things makes the Savior have joy and happiness. As we celebrate his birth, I think there are many ways that we can share joy and happiness with our neighbors, even if we just look around on Sunday mornings when we're in church. If we look around, we can find someone who might need a smile or even a question to see how they're doing and share some joy and happiness there. That it'll spread. So Merry Christmas. Amen.